the tits was that? What's up guys? Welcome back to another Bobby Guy Films. Today, as you can tell, we're going to be talking about keeping them tootsies warm. Uh, for a lot of years, I struggled with trying to keep my feet warm, you know, especially in waders. It seems like in waders, when you're in cold, cold, you know, icy waters, uh, your feet will freeze in waders. Uh, so I've came up with a few remedies that I've been using for the last handful of years hunting that absolutely work for me. It is a beautiful day outside, so I moved the old flower chair out from the garage and out here so you can see my beautiful face a little more because I know you guys love that. <laughs> so first off, we are going to start with waders. Uh, one simple little trick with waders, the first thing I do when I, when I, before my hunt, I make sure that these bad boys are in. These are just a, I don't know, you get, the, I got these at Dunham's, you can get them at, you know, Cabela's, wherever. These are like $7, they're wool, and then they have this silver kind of foil heat absorbent on the top, and I slide these down in my waders. They're one fit all, I didn't even have to cut them. I wear a size 12, and uh, just by putting these things in made a world of difference. But, you know, when you get in, down to the teens, and uh, you know, lower, lower single digits uh, outside, especially standing in water. These, they help, but they still won't do the trick. Here is my number one go-to. It is redneck as hell. It is very, um, let's just say ghetto, but it works great. Yeah, so blue, green, white, whatever painter's tape, don't use duct tape it's too thick and duct tape sticks you can't peel it off your socks so painters tape very thin it peels off easy get you some of that first then you're gonna buy yourself some hot hands yes these are the toe ones that are supposed to go on the bottom of your foot but any of these will do I usually use if you're using the actual regular square little rectangle hot hands I don't have any any with me right now or the uh, bigger padded ones, the body ones, or even these toes ones, the smaller like this, or the hot hands, I'll double them up, and, but the big body ones, you only need one per foot. So uh, tape these bad boys, uh, your favorite choice of socks. I'm not gonna put the hot socks on my wool socks because it is about 80 degrees out, and I don't wanna be sweating my butt off, but uh, get you some of that, and here we go. So first off, what I always do when I open these bad boys up, like I said, doesn't matter if the hot hands, if it's the toes or the body ones, I will automatically go put these on like the heater, you know, on the floor vent in the house, or I'll put them uh, on my truck defrost vent, something to pump a lot of uh, hot air and oxygen in them. These things work off oxygen, so when you put them in your boots, um, they tend not to breathe, so you really want to get them fired up and breathing good before you suffocate them. So let's say we've uh, put these on the vent. These things are fire hot. I've left them on there for about 10 minutes. They're flaming hot. I'll put both of these on top of my foot. I put them on the top of my foot. You don't want to be standing on them. If you're standing on something in your boot, that's going to get real uncomfy. But with waders, uh, most waders will have a lot of room in the top of the foot. So this gives you room to place these things on top. I'll just lay a tape, piece of tape on them, wrap it. I only usually wrap it about once. That's all you need. You don't need to smother or suffer, you know, cut the circulation off from your foot. Something just to keep it there like so. I know this is very ghetto, but every time I do this, it doesn't matter if it's in waders or boots, my feet will not go numb. For a lot of years, I've, I don't know if it's just me, but I have like bad circulation in my feet. I'm sure a lot of you struggle with this. And if you do this method, you will save your tootsies, let me tell you. So this method, I know guys, but it works. Uh, you don't have to wrap it a lot with tape, just one wrap, keep it on there. The less wrap, the better, the more it's still gonna breathe. Uh, the more tape, if you cover it all, you're gonna suffocate it out a little more, and it's not gonna be able to breathe and last as long. So you really wanna put these on vents and get these things fired up before you put them in your boots. So the uh, warm wool sole, wool socks of your choice it doesn't matter and with wool socks guys i've tried 25 dollars pair of socks and i've tried three dollar pair of socks honestly 
their socks. Uh, some work a little better than others, but when your waders, your feet and your waders get that cold, you ain't gonna stop it. This is my only method for waders that I have found that is reliable and works every time. Now, the second option that I love are these bad boys. I'm sure a lot of you have seen them. These are Thermosol lithium battery powered warm. You know, they, they come with a little remote that you can clip on your call lanyard and these suckers, you recharge them. The lithium batteries are awesome in these things. These things cost about 120 bucks. Not gonna lie, they are expensive. But the only time I use these thermosoles, like I said, they're 120 bucks. The only time I wear them is like in my muck boots. He's here. Also, muck boots. If you're not, if you're hunting in a field or pheasant hunting or duck hunting just in a field, goose hunting in a field, get you some muck boots. These are the wetlands. They also, see the wetland right there, wetland. They also make the Arctic, which is thicker and warmer than the wetlands, but the wetlands seem to do it, especially when I use a thermosole. Sometimes I'll even put in the cheaper $7 one, you know, if it's only 25, 30 degrees and I don't need all that much. So depending on the temperature is what I resort to. Now, one thing I don't do, I do not put this thermosole in my waders. You know how easy it is to spring a leak in, wait, in waders. Uh, the accident can happen at any time. So for $120, I'm not gonna stick them in my waders and then, uh, you know, might ruin them. So that's why the hot hands on the feet is what I do in waders every single time. Now, like I said, if you're wearing uh, boots and not waders, the, thermosole, the thermosoles are extremely beneficial. It comes with a wall charger, two separate little plug-ins where you plug into both soles. They charge in about four, about three to four hours. It doesn't take long. But to operate them, I'm, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown how to operate these suckers. And believe me, I've, I've had them for three years, so I've got them figured out. When you're using these, the batteries don't last all that long if you keep them on for long periods of time. How these things operate is, okay, I feel my, I feel my feet getting cold in my boots, click them on. It has three settings, it has low, medium, high. Uh, depending on how cold you are, I'll usually just keep it on medium all the time. Run them for about three to five minutes. Right when you feel your foot, get some warmth, any warmth at all. Don't, don't wait until they're toasty and sweating for God's sakes. Right when you feel them, sense heat. Shut these things off. These things hold heat very, very well. I mean, these things, I don't know what they're made of in here, but a lot of times I don't even have to turn these on when I have them in my muck boots. I'll stick them in my muck boots and whatever they're made out of, just kind of like this, like these cheaper ones, but these are way better obviously. Whatever these things are made out of, whatever insulation, I hardly have to turn these things on because they just hold heat so well. So right when you feel them get warm, shut them off. You should be good for about an hour. But uh, real quick, I want you guys to drop a comment below. Let me uh, know your favorite brand of socks, something that works for you really well. If you have a different boot, you know, a name brand boot that you wear that is just awesome, you don't have to worry about your feet getting cold. Any remedy that you guys use, or if it's a brand of waders that, man, my feet don't get cold in waders. Let me know the brand down below. Uh, my waders are about six years old. I take really good care of them and would like to get some different ones at some point. I think I have a small leak in them. That is why I don't really want to run these thermosoles in them. But let me know down low. Enough of the uh, warm feet video. I think I beat it to death and gave you guys all my juicy little tips that I use. And uh, I know guys, like I've said three times already, this is very ghetto. But you know what, anything that works, I will do. And it's pretty cheap, you know. Uh, hot hands are pretty cheap. A roll of this tape is about five bucks. So uh, go cop it up, keep your tootsies warm, dang it. But on some personal news, I wanted to give you guys an update uh, on me and the family and the channel and what we're doing. Uh, exciting, exciting news. We are having our baby boy tomorrow. I could not be any more excited. I, I've wanted a son for a long time. Someone. My daughter is awesome. She is an outdoor girl. I know she'll be hunting and fishing with me, but having a son is something to really look forward to, uh, getting outdoors as a family and enjoying it. So, that is going down tomorrow. So, this is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. This video will go up Friday. Um, I recently, a couple days ago, me and Trace, old redhead Trace, I know you guys have seen him plenty of times. Funny old bastard. 
but we went and did a pigeon hunt a couple days ago that video should be coming up monday or tuesday so uh, look out for that it was awesome some awesome flocks came in and man we jacked them up i want to thank each and every one of you guys for hitting that subscribe button i i literally look at it every day i try not to but it's it's addicting to uh just see the number go up and and see who you guys are i look at all your guys' channels and uh I get, a, I get a lot of ideas from you guys in the comments, so any comment that you guys drop below, I read, I reply to, so go ahead and do that. I, I want to just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, sticking around, and join these uh, Foul Friday, these tips and how-tos. I have about 20 to 25 of these videos, ideas written down that are going to drag out the summer until we can get back in the field. I do a lot of the big catfish and flathead catching right now, and uh, pigeon hunting, of course. Uh, I scratch turkey. I'm sick of turkey. I ain't even dealing with it anymore, the damn things. But come on back for another one, guys. I love y'all. Have a good one. Peace.